Welcome to the new features demonstration for Cabinet Vision Solid 2011 R2. In this video we will be talking about the new features that have been added to the countertops in Cabinet Vision. In previous versions of Cabinet Vision, when you placed an appliance on a counter that applied an automatic cutout, you were unable to edit the shape of that cutout. With the introduction of Cabinet Vision 2011 R2, you now have the ability to do so. Let's go ahead and take a moment to see how this works. I am going to use a simple job that I created previously. This job has base cabinets, upper cabinets, and a tall cabinet, as well as a countertop with a sink placed on it. This sink creates an automatic cutout in my countertop. For this job, I'm going to assume that the sink I placed does not meet my actual cutout requirements for the job that is going to be created. To rectify this, I need to start by clicking on the Tops button so that I can go to the Tops view. Now that I'm in the Tops view, I can right click on the cutout to display the context menu that has the new command to allow me to edit the shape of my automatic cutout. Now that I have this menu open, you can see the new Edit Cutout Shape command. Again, this command was not available in previous versions of Cabinet Vision on automatic cutouts, only on manually placed ones. Once I click on the Edit Cutout Shape command, I will be brought to the Shape Editor to change the shape of the cutout to meet my needs. In previous versions of Cabinet Vision, edges that butted into other tops, which would typically receive special fittings, could only be created using the automatic tops function. With the introduction of Cabinet Vision Solid 2011 R2, you can now specify which joints should get these fittings on manually created tops. Again, I'm going to use a simple job that I created previously. Let's go ahead and attempt to edit the joints of this top. First, we need to click on the Tops button to go to the Tops view. Now that I'm in the Tops view, I can right click on one of the tops to display the context menu that has the command to allow me to edit the shape of the top. Now we can just click on the Edit Shape command to bring us to the Top Shape Editor. You can see in our Tools group a new edge type, the Butt Edge. Setting an edge to this type will cause that edge to have joint operations placed on it based on the options set in the countertop wizard for this countertop construction. This concludes the demonstration of the new countertop features in Cabinet Vision Solid 2011 R2. Thank you for viewing this video and please take a look at our other videos on the new features in Cabinet Vision.